Hello everyone, my name is Antonio Zaya. I'm the Senior Director of Football Footwear at Under Armour. And I basically create all footwear for global football. It's a fantastic job that really allows me to connect with the player all over the world and really build the future of football footwear. I'm happy and proud to speak to you today about our upcoming launch of Magnetico. Clutch Fit was a great start for us. It was really all around fit, coming even from the name in terms of clutch fit, really wrapping around your foot. We've been working a lot with this Ozetic concept, which is really around fit, using shapes that take two-dimensional materials and wrap them around three-dimensional shapes like your foot. So we really explored all sorts of facets of that concept and we wanted to take the, the concept in a new direction. And after speaking to players everywhere, when you ask them what's really important to them, they always tell you fit. And when you dig down deeper and ask them, well, what is it about fit? They always say, well, I want my boots to fit skin tight. I don't want to think about them at all. And after looking at lots and lots of football feet, uh, not always the prettiest, but really understanding that boots are actually changing the shape of footballers' feet because they're worn so tight and they don't often give and really take the shape of a footballer's foot. So we switched the model around and said, instead of a foot changing the shape to fit a boot, let's actually create a boot that fits the foot. So let's find a material or have create a material that then actually fits around more shapes of feet because everybody's foot is different. And that really took us to explore many different suppliers, uh, many different types of materials from leathers and K-leathers, synthetics and textiles, knits. And we really then settled on a supplier from Japan that was making speed skating suits, which are one piece, skin tight. They have to go over all the complex curves of your body, which if you think about that, uh, your foot is a series of complex curves. So we thought this is perfect. So we took that recipe from the supplier and built our own material using football synthetics that were very high end, super soft. And really the goal was to, to create a material that had the fit and feel of leather, but the stability and durability of synthetic. So almost the best of both, both worlds, but that really fit as many different types of feet that we possibly could. We wanted to simplify as much as possible and the, the the recipe of the material of building the material allowed us to only use what we needed aligning an upper synthetic and the secret sauce really is the the adhesive that binds the two layers together to create that composite and we lay the adhesive down in an ozetic pattern so in these shapes that really accentuate fit and accentuate fit under stress as well. So when you're in those extreme cutting movements, you still have perfect fit. Sometimes the most elegant boots are the simplest ones and we really wanted to create something classy and timeless with the design uh, as well as the material. So this really allowed us to do that and we really didn't need much more than that. But the beauty is it's an engineered material and it allows us to then build over seasons and years to improve it based on player feedback as well. Ozetics, put simply, are when you stretch a textile, it normally gets narrower in the center. With Ozetics, when you stretch that textile, it gets wider. So Ozetics are shapes that occur in nature that exhibit those properties that actually expand under tension. And again, from that two dimension to three dimension, Ozetics within the material allow us that perfect fit. So the adhesive adds strength and it, uh, without adding weight in the end. So by taking those five layers and going down to three, it, it allowed us to still maintain a structure that was able to be a football material. So Clutch Fit was a, was a great name. For us, it was really a technology name. It was really talking about uh, what the, the technology did. We felt, and particularly I felt that we needed something a bit more emotional and that evoked images in the mind. and. Magnetico for us was that, even though we have some people call it Magneto, which isn't a bad thing, but Magnetico invokes this idea of the ball is magnetized to my foot. And whereas the, the technology of fit allows the boot to fit more feet, the benefit, the payoff of that is close control and touch. So that, that idea of how can I get that ball, how can I have ultimate feel on the ball and feel like the ball is magnetized to my foot. Yeah, there were many difficult things 
The first really was the material. It's been in development for over two and a half years. So just, we went through many, many iterations of the material. Thickness, type, supplier, really trying to find the right formulation. We also went through many different shapes. Should the shapes be sharp or rounded, organic? What's the personality of the boot? Even though there's not a lot on the boot and it's fairly simple, there, were a, there was a lot of discussion on what should the boot be? How should it come to life? What should it per, its personality be? Um, our designer did a fantastic job. Um, our developers done a fantastic job of really making, this making that vision come to life with only a few pieces on it. Uh, and to me, those were the that was the most difficult thing because there wasn't a lot to play with. Uh, we had a lot of testing all over the world and I, I knew that we had a winner even with some of these first boots that you see here because I would pull them out of the bag and kids wanted them in their hands immediately. They felt a, a, com they felt a complete difference and they felt like they were like, this is leather. And I would say, no, 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 it's, it's not leather. They couldn't believe it. And even then the, the communication of it, like, how do we talk about this? Because if you can't put the boot in your hand, how do you sell it? How do you get someone to feel a material when they can't actually have the boot in their hand? So that was a, that's where the silhouette conversation came in and really how we were naming the boot and talking about it as well. Probably the most technical piece and really that took the longest was the material development. Using a supplier that has, has never worked in football before, in Japan, working with factories and other parts of the, uh, of the world as well and really making all that come to life. So. This is our first iteration, and I really see this becoming a platform and a franchise that we just build on over time. I want to own fit, and owning fit is not easy, and that's a really difficult thing because what is football fit? Like that, even the definition of that, and it's subjective, what you think is football fit and what you think is football fit and what I think is football fit is all different. So we're really digging into that and understanding how we can affect it, what it is, um, was, was tough, and I believe it's something we can own and build on over time. The fact that we're a small brand that's been able to hopefully put something on the table that resonates with players, that they'll just take a second look at and say, I wanna try that. That was, for me, the, the most proud moment that someone didn't dismiss us and actually said, yeah, I, I want to try that. That is the ultimate compliment and, and even more so if they tell their friend and we've recently been at clubs where we're talking about this boot and showing it to players and other players are coming back to us and saying I heard about that boot so that is the the best compliment that I could possibly get